Welcome to Omniology School. From today, the third volume of Healthcare Science, Dr. Yangi Lee's health essay is serialized. I pray that you listen carefully and put into practice to show the true value of your life. Written by Du Kyung, Jeon Kwang Hoon, the principal of the Omniology School. Title, Healthcare Science Column by Yang Hee Lee Ph.D. 8. Complications of Diabetes 1 in Diabetes Mellitus, Blood Glucose Levels Remain Excessively High. So sodium-based electrolytes must maintain osmotic pressure in the blood. However, in diabetes mellitus, blood glucose leads the osmotic pressure of the blood, thus causing abnormal metabolism in whole cells and tissues. In this way, symptoms appear in each part of the body is called a complication. Diabetes is rapidly declining due to complications. So once you find diabetes, blood sugar management should be thoroughly managed to suppress the occurrence of complications to the maximum. The complications that follow diabetes are the decline of physical strength and various illnesses in each part of the body, so let's take a look at some of the typical symptoms. 1. Diabetes-induced coma One of the most important treatments for managing diabetes is coma. This coma can be caused by hypoglycemia, diabetic ketoacidosis, non-ketone hyperosmolar coma, and many other causes. The first hypoglycemia occurs when the drug is over-administered, such as hypoglycemic agents or insulin, or when exercise is severe. And when the diet is skipped due to the lack of calories in the blood and falls below 50 mg per deciliter. In the process of hypoglycemia, it begins with a feeling of fasting, sweating, wheezing, headache, hand cramps, and finally coma with systemic confusion and convulsions. Failure to provide emergency treatment with sugar intake or intravenous glucose can result in damage to the central nervous system and death or plant life. Next, the diabetic ketonic acidemia is most common in type 1 diabetic patients, but the diabetes is extremely serious, and there are three more symptoms, drinking a lot of water, wetting a lot of urine, and eating a lot of food and dehydration and lethargy, which can lead to severe sclerosis and a coma as blood pressure drops. Such ketoacidosis occurs when the patient is unable to manage blood sugar due to excessive deterioration due to neglect of diabetes management or due to stress, illness, accident or surgery. If you do not have a first aid when this condition is reached life is critical. Finally, Nonketonous hyperosmolar coma occurs rarely in older patients with type 2 when blood glucose levels rise above 600 mg per deciliter. This symptom occurs when the patient has a disease that consumes a lot of stamina or takes harmful drugs. It is characterized by no keto acid in the blood and high levels of sodium. This is accompanied by severe dehydration, weight loss and lowering blood pressure, leading to a coma. This requires prompt first aid and mortality rates of up to 50%. As described above, diabetes mellitus is often caused by various causes, so patients should know exactly the cause, course, and treatment of the coma. Therefore, research on how to manage blood sugar should not always be neglected. 2. Diabetic kidney disease A complication that poses a huge risk to diabetes other than comatose. Renal failure is the number one cause of death for diabetics. Renal insufficiency initially results in enlarged kidneys, increased filtration rate of glomeruli and hypertension, and albumin in urine. The glomerular capillaries are so fragile that even if only part of them are damaged, the remaining capillaries are burdened and easily damaged. If the blood sugar management is not carried out, the function of the urinary and bladder gradually declines, and eventually the filtration and renal glomeruli renal failure is manifested by decreased excretory function. Therefore, once you find diabetes, you have to manage your blood sugar carefully. Otherwise, there are no ways to prevent complications. In the case of diabetic kidney disease, 
Blood sugar management can be easily recovered in the early stages, but if the glomerular capillaries are damaged to some extent, it will be difficult to recover. Thank you for your attention. The Health Column series continues. God be with you.